your update on Tiana's Bayou Adventure and more coming up next. What is up everyone? This is Damien, the Disney Hacker here today. I'm giving you guys your update for the month of February here at the Disneyland Resort. If you're new to this channel, welcome you guys are already part of the D3 Hacker family. Welcome back to the ride. Let's get this party started. We begin our adventure here at Main Street USA looking at the construction going on at the Disneyland City Hall here at Main Street. How are you guys out doing out there, D3 Hackers? I hope you guys are having an incredible month of February. As you know, I'm going to give you guys an update. Even though it's late in the month, I still want to give you guys an update on what's all going on here at the parks. As you know, it's part of Black History Month. Disneyland is celebrating Celebrate Gospel, which is a gospel fest of a bunch of gospel artists here at the parks this weekend, which is February the 17th and next weekend, February 24th. And of course, all things Disney here during Black History Month, you know, celebrate soulfully and things like that. You see our friends right here on the trolley going by, but that's not all that's going on this month, folks. We're gonna cover that in a bit over in Fantasyland, but I'm gonna give you guys an update, of course, on Tiana's Bayou Adventure over in Critter Country. See how that's going on. Had a, heard some exciting news about Tiana's Bayou Adventure recently in the news, which is awesome about the animatronics. We're gonna talk about that a bit later on too. But we're gonna walk around the park get a feel of the park and see any construction updates that we can and possibly go over to California Adventure in a bit. But as you can see folks, it is busy, busy, busy here in February, right on the hills of the Valentine's Day holiday, right in smack middle, middle of January. Hey, right before the beginning of spring break. So not a dull moment here at Disneyland anymore folks. You see it's busy despite the weather. You might get some rain in the month of February if you guys come down here, so be prepared for that. But hey, it's the happiest place on earth. With that being said, folks, we're gonna get our first update. I believe we'll do our first update this time again over in Tomorrowland. Let's go. Our first update, folks, is over here at the entrance of Tomorrowland here at Disneyland. You can see in front of me, the Astro Orbiter is coming back online. Oh, they took it apart. Did some refurbishing and now they put them back together. Now it looks like this is going to be back online possibly sometime next month in March. They say sometime winter, but I'm thinking March next month. That's the way this is going. It's looking good. Probably just clean up the parks, did some refurbishing and things like that. We're going to take a like, quick walk around and see. It's coming back together. Still all uh, not together yet. Some more pieces to put on, but yeah, I think the next time to update my update in March, we will have a better update as well on the progress here in Tomorrowland as we continue to walk through Tomorrowland a little bit. The Star Tours, which the uh, Ahsoka update is going to be coming soon in a couple of months. Stay tuned for that update right there. But other than that, folks, Tomorrowland is Tomorrowland. We're going to take a quick whoop. Well, through you can see it's quite busy over here over at the Astro Blasters right there but it's busy 10 minute wait at the beginning of the day folks four star tours by the way the best time to go ride it but I've never seen Tomorrowland is busy early it's right after the park opening it's like nine o'clock in the morning and it's busy it's rocking wow so Despite lack of attractions over here, this park, this part of the park is pretty live and well. I guess everybody's coming over by to ride Space Mountain, which is no surprise, and over by Atopia or going to the Pizza Planet. But anyway, we're gonna walk by Space real quick. I'll give you guys a quick update over there. But yeah, Space Mountain's up and going. No closure right there. But yeah, folks, this is Tomorrowland and. No, no, no bigger, another, no other huge updates in this area right over here. No new merch. Let's see if they have any new merch over here. Let's go check out. Very cool Star Wars merch. Let's check out the Star Wars merch right over here. This is cool. Wow. Ahsoka ears. How much are these? These are probably like 30 like the rest of them. And this Tumblr. Tumblr is 27. Very cool. You have the Star Wars bag. How much is this bag? 
These are awesome. I'll see a price on these, but they're pretty reasonable as well. Very, very cool as we continue our adventure here in Tomorrowland. But pretty much, folks, no other big updates over here in Tomorrowland as we take a quick look at Space Mountain right there. The beautiful Space Mountain right there. Hopefully, we'll have another couple years before they decide to refurbish it into a cooler version, of course. But with that being said, folks, let's go to our next update. I believe it's going to be over in Critter Country slash New Orleans Square. Let's go. Before we go to our update over in New Orleans Square, everyone, I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of over here, over in Adventureland, as you can see the bubbles in the future right here. <laughs> I love Adventureland. Very, very busy pinch point in the park, folks. But, hey, it's not that bad right now. Not that bad. We're going to take a quick walk through by a couple of the popular attractions and see how the wait times are. Over here, we're going to walk by the world famous Jungle Cruise for your update. Jungle Cruise, not that bad. Jungle Cruise looks like it's about 15 minute wait right now. It's before I you to get noon. Time. No, it's up at 30. No, it is 30 minutes right now. 30 minutes right now. And India is up finally. And it's, of course, a 60-minute wait. But when you guys come out here, Indiana Jones Adventure is always a temperamental attraction, folks. Keep that in mind. Wow, I'm surprised it's up today. But we're going to continue our walk through Adventureland and just see how it is. The treehouse is doing nice and well. Have to come up almost six months after it's reopened. Very, very cool. And this is the line for pirates. Oh my gosh, I hope this is not the line for Pirates right here. It is a line for Pirates. Pirates is insane since they added the new um, queue for the Genie Plus. This is crazy. Wow. Look at that. That's Pirates. Very, very cool. This is insane. Pirates is nuts. Pirates is nuts. This is wild, folks. Wow. I think Genie Plus has made a big impact on this attraction. But, just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough over here through, as we enter in New Orleans Square, the transitional. We're going to go over and walk and talk about the update on the Haunted Mansion. With that being said, folks, let's go. Our next construction update, folks, as promised, is here in New Orleans Square in regards to the Haunted Mansion. As you know, the Haunted Mansion is getting that new exciting queue coming up this year. You can see they have the construction walls up. You see the cranes in the background right over there. It looks exciting. I cannot wait to see what this queue is going to look like when it's finished. I'm going to take a quick walk around and see they have some cool images out here, by the way. Let's see if they have like a picture right here of what it's going to possibly look like. Let's take a look at this. This is Magnolia Park right here. This is a cool image they have of it right here. I love the renderings right here. The new New Orleans Square. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. But we am going to continue to walk around. You see the Mark Twain right there still in service. But this is cool. This is what I like right here. They have like these cool images, pictures, outside of the construction wall. Our tour begins here in this gallery. Very, very cool images they have right here. Pirate, not pirates, but uh, the Haunted Mansion. The history of it, if you say. We'll walk around further <laughs> towards the exit to see if they have any more, see any of the other updates over there. Oh, this is cool right here. I like how this changes. See how it changes, folks? Just like inside the attraction. <laughs> that's very cool. But we're gonna walk around to the, there's another one right here that's really cool, interactive graphic right there. That's very cool. I love how they have this. They brought this outside. I think this is part of the actual attraction. How Misty, that's Misty Simmer right there. This April. How they brought these outside for you to enjoy as well but here's the actual what the new queue is going to look like next to the exit very very cool it looks really promising and they're going to have a gift shop 
right next door, right here. Again, this is a pirate. This is right next door to Pirates. This is the Haunted Mansion. So, no update of when this attraction will reopen just yet. Stay tuned, folks. I might have a better update for you next month in March. With that being said, folks, let's go right next door to Tiana's Bay Adventure and get an update on that. We continue our construction update, folks, right next door to the Haunted Mansion with Tiana's Bay Adventure. So I look how this is gonna transition. There's the Haunted Mansion right there, and right this there, you're gonna have the exit, do exit, transition right next door to Tiana's Bay Adventure. I'm really curious how this is gonna work out. It's gonna work out thing really flawlessly, but you can see the towers up right there, and they're making more progress. If you guys haven't heard recently, the Tiana's Bay Adventure over at Disney World will be opening possibly in May, which is exciting news. So. The Disneyland version shut down about six months after the Florida version, Disney World version shut down. So I'm thinking, hopefully we get our um, Tiana's Body Adventure, hopefully sometime in late this year. But you can see right here, they're still working on the flume right here. Very, very cool. It's, you still get this perspective of no water yet, of course. It's still got plenty to do in the construction part of this attraction right there. But we're gonna walk on the other side up the mountain to see if they have any more construction updates near the entrance as we continue to walk around. But uh, the animatronics folks, do yourself a favor and look at the video I think you have on Disney's site of the Tiana animatronic that's going into this attraction. It's mind blowing. So I'm very, very excited about this when it opens up. But we are on the other side review of the mountain right there. The gas nerves are hard at work. This epic attraction is going to be really amazing. Can't wait till it opens. Let's see if they have any progress. You see Tigger in the distance. But it still says, still safe to open here this year, right here. No specific date. But we're going to walk around where Tigger is and see if there's any progress on the actual entrance of Splash, of um, Tiana's Bay Adventure. Almost says Splash. It's always gonna be Splash. <laughs> but hey, I'm ready for Tiana, but, but you know, when this ride is done, it's gonna be Tiana's Bay Adventure. But they have a scrub up right here. No big, looks like we might have some action going on behind the scrub, so we shall see in the next few months. Again, this is an update on Tiana's Bay Adventure here at Disneyland, folks. With that being said, folks, let's go to our next update. We continue our update here at Disneyland, here in Fantasyland, as you can look at the spires of It's a Small World here in front of us. But this is not the story, folks. We're going to talk about what's going on over here at Fantasyland Theater, here at Fantasyland, here at Disneyland. It is the Celebrate Gospel event, also known as the Gospel Fest, going on here at the park this weekend, which is February 20th, February 17th and the next weekend, February 24th. Also amazing gospel artists, folks, if you guys are into gospel music, like I am. So you see the Mickey's Toontown train depot right there is empty right now, but this place is gonna be pretty filled later on. Walk up here, take a look at the stage. Of course, this is a former home of the, um, of the Lion King show that just concluded about a month ago. Look at that. Very, very cool. Let's see if we get us close up for you guys and the artists going on here. You have Marvin Sapp this weekend. A couple of local choirs going on too. And you have Tasha Cobbs Leonard coming up next weekend. So, very two very cool gospel artists right there indeed. So, if you guys are into gospel music, come check it out here at the Disneyland Resort. But with that being said, folks, let's go to our next update here in the parks. Well, D3 Haggers, this concludes your update for the month of February here at the Disneyland Resort. I hope you enjoyed this episode like I did. Now, I would like to hear from you, D3 Haggers. What was your favorite part of this episode? Was it an update for Ty uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure? Or was it an update talking about the gospel fest going on here at the park this month? Feel free to leave a comment below. This should be fun. In the meantime, if you guys are still having your Disneyland withdrawals, feel free to check out my channel where I have some fun, amazing Disneyland tips. It's a fun and amazing Disneyland adventures to help you get your Disney fix. Thanks again for watching, folks. Remember to follow me on all 
social media platforms. See you guys real soon. Thank you.